When I was first starting out, I was drawn to it as a really positive uh, vision of what was possible. Now I've become thinking that it's just urgent to do these things. The stakes, in my view, are infinitely important. It's do or die. We have another 30 years to get to a low carbon future, and if we don't do it, I'm afraid we don't have a future. Prior to doing architecture, I was painting easel paintings, and then I started doing murals, and then I went to the larger scale of buildings, and then of course, it's quite natural that I moved to the city scale and then multiple cities. So my story has been one of increasing scale from the easel painting to multiple cities. When we first started, nobody had really looked at tackling sustainability at the city level. So how would you go about this? I think the first thing that gave me a glimpse into what it would mean to take something citywide was thinking about the urban heat island effect, which is the phenomenon that cities are much hotter than the surrounding countryside. Obviously, that is going to be very uncomfortable in New York unless we could turn it around. We started looking at cool roof strategies, planting more trees, doing green roofs, and what would be the most cost-effective way to do that. And one of the stats that really jumped out at me came from New York City's first draft greenhouse gas emissions inventory. It showed that 75% of New York City's emissions comes from energy used in buildings. It sent me down the path that I've been on ever since. So when Mayor Bloomberg launched the process that became Plan YC, I made sure that I became part of it. Plan YC was a sustainability master plan for New York City. And that plan looked at 2030, cleaner air, cleaner water, better parks, and a culminating goal of a 30% carbon emissions reduction by 2030. New York City was the first city to really address the existing buildings, which are key to reducing our footprint. Most people think that greenhouse gas emissions come from cars and from power plants and from industries, but they never think about the buildings. Another way we scaled New York City's policies was launching the City Energy Project with NRDC. The City Energy Project really took its cue from LEED. The long-term goal is to reduce energy from existing buildings. I lived in New York many years ago when it was not a sustainable city. In fact, the air was filthy and, you know, we had the most beautiful sunsets in those years because of that filthy air. But it's been incredible watching the city turn around from really an environmental disaster to one of the leading sustainability cities in the world. It now has the cleanest air that it's had in over 60 years. The waterways have been incredibly cleaned up. New York City is a place where ambitious people come. And this was fantastic for us because when we tried to create these policies that no other place had created, we had to turn to knowledgeable people and they were really willing to give their time and energy and help us. It's a tremendous honor to be given this award by a great institution that I've admired for a long time. Creating a beautiful, environmentally benign city is a great goal, but I think protecting the city that we have is even a stronger motivation. All these buildings are gonna become more efficient because of the work that we did. It's thrilling.